your headaches, back, and neck pain could be the Leviathan spirit. In Job 41, verse 34, it talks about the Leviathan spirit being the king over all the children of pride. And we get pride when we get hurt, we get wounded, we get growing up, and that spirit starts to tell us not to trust anybody, that all of our decisions are the best, we need to protect ourselves, don't listen to anybody else, and it puffs us up with pride. Well, it attaches to us in our spine and in our neck, and it will twist like an alligator. It says the rows of scales are its pride. So it's very similar to an alligator, a spiritual alligator that will actually twist our back and our neck and cause us to have headaches and back pain and neck pain and insomnia. We can't sleep well through the night. Again, I've helped thousands of people get healed, set free, and delivered of that spirit of Leviathan. And when they get freed from it, they no longer have headaches, they no longer have back pain, they no longer have neck pain. Again, I used to have that. I used to have scoliosis. You know, people that have fibromyalgia, the number one reason is because of that spirit, the spirit of pride. So how do you get delivered from that spirit if you might have it? First thing is you need to repent for your pride. You need to give that pride to the Lord and say, I want your humility in Jesus' name. Uh, you also need to forgive those who've hurt you. Uh, forgiveness is a requirement um, in Matthew 6, 14 through 15. Jesus said, if we don't forgive others, then God cannot forgive us of our sins. And that allows demonic spirits to attach to us. So I've seen this thousands and thousands of times around the world with people. The number one reason for back pain, neck pain, and headaches is that spirit. Again, of course, you can have car accidents and sporting injuries that it could be directly related to. Uh, but the majority of people are going to have back pain, neck pain, and headaches due to that spirit. And when you get healed, when you forgive people, you repent for your pride, repent for your sin, then you can command the demonic spirits that attached to your soul to be gone to the pit in Jesus' name. And you'll feel it oftentimes unwrap from your back and your neck, and then you get released, and you don't have that pain anymore, and you can sleep through the night. Also, if you have anyone that's involved in Freemasons or Shriners, oftentimes they will curse you and that will come down your bloodline. So you need to break off and sever all of those curses, those generational curses. So you can learn more about this in my book, Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. It's available on Amazon. You can also set up a personal session with me if you'd like me to take you through healing and deliverance. Just email my assistant, Tina, at tinak at restoredofreedom.com. All right, thanks. Bye.